I'm combining some of the best gear from the ultralight hiking community and repurposing it for flexible long-term world travel. Now, what I mean by ultralight is, uh, first off, I'm not a minimalist. I like the ultralight gear mostly so that I can take more stuff. Uh, when you're traveling for more than a month, you're, you're gonna miss some things from home. This will help you take more with you and still have a compact sub 20 pound pack that you can carry around a city without having to go to a hotel first. So oh, I really like this backpack. It's a Z-Pax, like Arcall Zip. Um, I think it's the version they don't make anymore, but it's you know, pretty similar. They, they, it's, a little, it's a crinkly kind of fabric, waterproof, pretty like very durable. Uh, and extremely lightweight for uh, for its strength. I made a little pouch inside because I wanted to be able to like put things in it, and especially a like my passport and uh, like a few other things. So like I don't know, I travel with a titanium spork knife as well. And um, yeah, I actually really like this thing. Unfortunately, they don't make it anymore, so you probably won't be able to get these. But um, yeah, lightweight kind of. Um, travel utensil when you uh, when you need one and then, uh, I think that's all I, oh yeah and I have like a little pen inside here just like a very small pen just in case and that's it in there and then the rest is uh, yeah it's just like a very lightweight bag it's extremely durable uh, and, and comfortable so this is this is where the like ultra light community um, really shines is um, or like the ultra light hiking so like long long distance hiking uh, this is a little strap for holding my camera uh, my 360 camera and uh, like carbon fiber back things and this stuff you can when it when it's loaded you you can kind of arc it uh, and keep it off your back uh, just very comfortable especially the hip belt having multiple uh, straps allows you to really adjust and dial in so that it just rides really well on your hips and extremely comfortable like like very adjustable so like all the straps and things it's it's very like strappy and dangly which I really didn't like in the beginning but it's it's like a small price to pay for the amount of like adjustability and, and comfort that uh, that it gives uh, and this is meant to be carried for hours and or you know like long distance hiking trips like weeks weeks in the wilderness great for when you're backpacking through Europe or the world uh, and yeah and I usually put my day bag in here uh, the rest of the stuff goes in here so the, the the cabin bag like when I'm in the airplane I'll pull pull the backpack out of here use it and then uh, go with um, uh, then put it back in when, when I'm uh, walking around so then hands are free you've only got one backpack on and that is it. I think it holds like 60 liters or 70 liters, something like that. And yeah, and then, uh, you know, you can put stuff in the side pockets. I wish the side pockets were a bit better. They, I wish they had like a, a, a stra like a, a cinch kind of and lock down, but they don't. So it's just kind of like a um, elastic. And it's pretty much it. A little bit of a handle thing. I, like I never, that I pretty much never use. And yeah, uh, this is slightly big for what you can actually fit in a carry-on on most airplanes. However, I've never been called on it. Actually, no, I've been called like once on it, uh, actually maybe twice, both from Frontier. Uh, and in those cases, I had one of the case I was just, okay, I had to pay an extra like 50 bucks for like a $100 flight, which is super annoying. Uh, the other one, I actually just took these carbon fiber stays out and you can, you can fit this into a, a, a carry on size then if, if you're, if you're not packing super full, um, and then, you know, chest strap and stuff like that. And yeah, I love this backpack, um, pound and a half. Uh, I'll have to, I don't have a, a scale with me right here, but it's, uh, yeah, it's really lightweight. Um, lighter than, mo than, than most just like regular backpacks not to mention like l luggage weighs like you know five pounds or something this is super lightweight for, for, for what you get and then your hands are free You're, you can like go up and down stairs really easily like you know run, run up escalators and uh, also you don't need to stop at your hotel uh, to drop your bags off you can just literally take this on a hike with you and be, be happy and, and feel like pretty 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 comfortable and free.
love this titanium spork knife. Talk about an awesome multi utensil. Um, the spoon is actually big enough for just really having a you know solid like cereal experience. And the fork uses is pretty good. The knife is the only thing that's not that great. Um, but uh, yeah, I would definitely travel with this. And a hat. I find this is good with in conjunction with a sun hoodie. Um, just shields your face a bit more. Pretty lightweight. Uh, this one's foldable, which I don't really need that much. It folds into some kind of weird little like ball somehow. I don't remember how, but uh, yeah, para pack. Uh, this is probably the best one I've found so far, though. And last to, to show you how crazy I am, I have half size Sharpie pens to cut weight for a Sharpie. I was taking this like big Sharpie pen, but you know, obviously that's what is that 11.5 and this is five point, anyway, just, you know, cutting off a few grams here and there. And then, uh, yeah, just take it with me all the, all everywhere, everywhere. Um, always have a marker with you. Here's my wallet. It's got a few cards and stuff in it, and some of which are like annoyingly heavy. Um, but the wallet itself is very light. Let's see if you can try to beat this. That it's uh, yeah, it's 7.4 grams. Uh, and then I've got and I've got like a little like identifier sticker on it. Um, so in case it gets lost, then maybe maybe it returns. But this is I find like just really convenient. Um, I just <clears throat> kind of like it, kind of like the way it looks. Um, lightweight, just keeps your money and cards together. And yeah, since I'm doing clothing, I might as well just show some of these other ones that I also don't leave home without. Uh, so this is Ridge Merino. Like it's so light, so like soft and like comfortable. Uh, wear it in the as a sun hoodie, really. And uh, I think it just looks cool. It's also long enough for my arms. And uh, yeah, just really comfortable to have when, when it's very hot out and you're trying to avoid you know, sun on you. You don't want to put sunscreen on or something. Um, and just kind of keeps you cool. And then hoodie, this is just like my go-to black hoodie. Everyone's got kind of different style, but um, I think this sort of, it's like excellent mix of very functional and uh, still kind of stylish. Got zippers for things and of course a uh, chest pocket for putting stuff. And that's pretty much it. Just like a kind of a good lightweight, not super heavy uh, hoodie. And you know, got like thumb, thumb holes in case it gets really cold. Ultralight, uh, carbon fiber battery pack. And uh, it's got the um, like USB-C, USB-B uh, holes. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, and so how much it weighed? 153 grams. Hard to beat that. All right, last like piece of clothing I'll show. This is a rain jacket and a windbreaker. It's from. Uh, I'll post a link. I, I can't remember the brand, but uh, um, it's it's like a custom made one. Uh, so it's like the length, the arm length, and the 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 you know the the, the the total hem length is also all like kind of customizable. I like it because it's like it full zips. So it's like when it's super warm out and you just want a poncho kind of thing. This basically turns into that. Uh, or when it's cold, you can just wear it on, wear it over. It is crazy lightweight. Um, let's see, let's see how much it weighs. I'll just throw it on the, uh, the scale. But uh, yeah, it's a little crinkly. Um, it, 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 I think it just looks cool too. But but really, it's um, it's just you know a very lightweight waterproof garment uh, that you know, still has like cinches for making a hood and making the hood comfortable and yeah like sleeves and stuff and like hem hem thing. okay last thing garment maybe let's say is the uh, z-packs uh, down 
a jacket. Uh, I use this as a pillow as well as a just like when you're when it's really freaking cold uh, then you can wear this um, and uh, very it's, I mean z packs basically makes the lightest stuff um, they only make one color unfortunately so it's just blue uh, and, and then I put it in this bag when I'm using it as a pillow and it's basically the perfect pillow as well so when it's warm out I'm still gonna take it with me because or like or even if I'm going to a tropical place I still use this because uh, sometimes it's nice to have a thing that makes you feel comfortable when sleeping and for me a pillow is, is like an important piece so I can be in kind of any bed situation but if I got my pillow it uh, feels um, I don't know kind of more like home right it's like more, more easier to sleep and then I put a I just put a, a t-shirt over this so that it, you know I'm not uh, I don't have this like waterproof thing this also doubles as a you know it's like trying to double double use everything so this is a pillow and a warm garment. This is a, a, a pillow case and a uh, like a, 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 a I can I can fill it with air and on the plane I can use it as a, a like a sleeping uh, bulky pillow thing. So I can put this on the the, the airplane uh, tray and lean against it and actually just straight up sleep on top of it where uh, normally I couldn't bend all the way over and like sleep on the tray. This allows you to kind of lean against the seat in front of you and, and sleep. Um, and so it's just like a big, bulky, lightweight thing. Uh, this is a 35 liter. This is my day bag. I it's from Matador. I really like it. Um, I it's not like fully up to up to date. Like I, I've got like just some random stuff in here now, but uh, it's kind of like the thing you have when you're in in a city and you're just um, yeah well, headphones. I like these. You probably everyone has got their own kind of headphones. Um, here's my wallet, which is like super lightweight. Uh, Dyneema kind of um, two kind of pockets it looks like uh, you know like a homeless person's thing but uh, you know it's just very lightweight and I end up just like really using it um, it's like I don't know it's five, five grams or something like that I do just like oh I'll, I'll do it later but uh, yeah then throw your laptop in here it's also waterproof so uh, you can you know it's got little pockets and stuff and for putting things and um, I've got like a pen and a little marker in there and what else uh, I'm like I put a uh, little bit like contact info here by the way um, and, uh, and then just like put tape over it uh, for just like you know if it if it gets stolen maybe it'll come back to me uh, yeah, gum, pretty much it uh, side pockets are pretty good I like these uh, sunglasses Everyone's got their own style. I like these because they're just like flat and they, they uh, you can, um, they just have a strap instead of the, uh, the little like ear, uh, ear pegs or whatever they're called for uh, sunglass arms. Um, then you can just like basically sit on it or um, then they just like stay in your face better. Uh, a lighter, little bit lighter weight and yeah. Um, just really lightweight bag. I think I've got the, the uh, a few other things in here. Uh, what is, how much does this weigh? Two, 20, 209 grams uh, when, when, it, when everything's out of it. So pretty, pretty comfy. And I label the, I, I put a different color for each zip tie, which I replaced so that it's easy to, easy to know which pocket I'm getting into. Um, this is a Merino buff from, uh, Unbound Marina, I think, and uh, they, no, actually, uh, I think this is Ridge, Ridge Marina. Yeah, anyway, just like lightweight, great, mostly for cool, colder weather, just to keep your face warm. And man, it just adds a lot of comfort. Uh, and they're an uh, ultralight battery pack, 10,000 milliamp hours, USB-C, USB-B. I think, do I have the weight on there? I don't have the weight, but I'll do that later hat, which I actually haven't used that much, so maybe I won't keep this with me, but, um, yeah, and then, uh, camera, 
167 grams for the uh, selfie stick and 190 grams for the 360 cam. Uh, I love this thing and I take it take it pretty much everywhere because it is great for capturing like what it feels like to be in a place. It captures your expression. You don't have to point it at anything. You just kind of leave it out and running. And it's so fun to watch later, especially in VR. And then another uh, cable just for my phone when I'm charging and when I'm out and about. Uh, I like this laptop, but uh, you know everyone's got their own kind of feeling for laptop. Uh, yeah. And these are the travel bags I use. So rather than packing cubes, um, I, you still kind of want to get your clothes organized into a thing. And I use two of these, so 50 grams each, waterproof, airproof. They are great. Uh, I think this is a good size 20 liter. Uh, they, they, I think they make one, one thing lighter, but it's, um, I think it's not worth it. Maybe you shave like a few, like, like, five grams or something, but it's, it's, it, I think it's just not, uh, they're, they're actually just less durable and maybe they don't, they, they get holes more readily. Um, so that's the one I really like. Uh, and I put dirty clothes in the red one, clean clothes in the blue one. When you put them in, you just sit on top of it and then roll it up. And it's a like vacuum seal basically. So keep everything also compact. Uh, and so you can just haul more stuff and your bag isn't like kind of exploding at the seams and like always under pressure. These things take the pressure. And I have found them really great traveling with. This is roughly what I travel with for toiletries. I've got a toothbrush. This is not the toothbrush I normally take that I, uh, my travel toothbrush is different. Whatever the other crest, now it's, um, Oral-B, I think, yeah, Oral-B, like sort of top-end toothbrush. What's all in here? So, uh, special like multivitamin kind of thing. Old pellets, don't, yeah, I sometimes take a few of those. Got um, deodorant, rock kind of thing. Uh, how much is that way? 48 grams with like a little carrying case. Um, this is sort of the what is it, potassium aluminum crystals or something? Uh, that is good for deodorant. Yeah, uh, this is the uh, water flosser. So I just like pop this guy in and there you go, water floss. And it, uh, yeah, you just, uh, you know, use a cup or something somewhere and then it grabs uh, water and then, you know, turns on, uh, charges with uh, USB-C. The tip goes inside and uh, really pretty good for yeah, and then I don't know some kind of uh, nice smelling stuff some uh, breast tabs toothpaste that's refillable uh, from Matador I really like this one actually uh, it just has a nice cap that closes really well it's not it's like okay lightness uh, not really for lightweightness but uh, I like that it's refillable so when if you're somewhere and they have like travel tooth toothpaste or something, you can just add it to it. And then um, this is a weird thing to take with me, but it's a posture uh, sensor. So you stick it on the back of your neck uh, or back and you double tap it to set like when you're standing up straight. And then if you slouch or hunch over, it will let you know. Uh, and I find I don't need it all that often, but it's, uh, it's pretty nice. A, kind of a heavy um, fingernail clippers. I like these though. It's just got the like the travel case. Um, I can't remember what brand it is, but I'll, maybe I'll have a link or something. Um, yeah, a little bit of floss, um, condom, which I, I don't know how long it's been in here, um, and uh, yeah, fingernail file. Uh, and tweezers. I like these tweezers. They're lightweight, they're sharp, um, they're small, and seven grams. Oh, what's this guy? Eight grams. Uh, yeah, so you can kind of just like fire nails and stuff. And that is it for there. What the heck is this that weighs 776 grams? Uh, it's a drone. 
this drone, the controller itself is, is like more than half the weight probably. Yeah. Uh, I don't know why this thing is so big and I should be able to just use my phone or something like that. But yeah, I'm mini drone. I like this one because it's lightweight. Um, and uh, what is this? The DJI Mini 3 or something? Um, yeah. And it's uh, really um, versatile, can fly you know, miles away. And I, I capture, I don't know, cool shots. And then I, I made a bag for it. Um, just taped a lens cleaning cloth into a bag. And then, yeah, that's basically it. And then I just close that up. And a, some extra, one extra battery just in case that I, if I'm traveling extra light, then I, I won't, I won't take that because it's 80 grams. I travel with some ethyl alcohol isopropanol, I guess. Uh, I don't know. What, yeah, one of these. Um, just as a hand sanitizer. Um, so, like, hear it jiggling, but yeah, it's kind of good just to like, you know, throw a few drops on and have clean hands. Uh, when traveling, it's kind of nice. Sometimes I just keep it in the side pocket of my backpack. A CO2 monitor with a long battery life and temperature and humidity. Uh, see the air in here is not super great quality right now, but uh, this allows you to have a pretty good uh, pretty good air quality. Uh, just like notice it if a hotel room that doesn't have like ventilation or something like that. Some some like old uh, European buildings like just have no ventilation. You literally just have to open the window. And um, yeah, so good to know that when when it happens. Um, yeah, and I'm, I've started traveling with this. It's got two AA batteries inside of it. Um, and. Uh, Sleep mask, one of the most important things to travel with for me um, is, so everyone's face is different. Everyone will want like a kind of a different sleep mask. This is a custom one I made. I'll probably have a whole like video on just how to have good quality sleep. For me, that's white noise. Uh, I've sewn a Velcro thing on the front of it so that I can put some straps and cable management. And then I've got tiny earbud things that, um, well, the, so the earplug attenuates the sound. I punched a hole in, and then I can pipe uh, a, a very small audio driver uh, through that so that I can play white noise at fairly, pretty low volume. And anything that gets past this earplug, uh, I can get habituated to just white noise, uh, and that should cover up the other thing. So if, if I'm in a very loud environment, then I can play this louder. Um, so like you could sleep at Burning Man with this if you want. Uh, and then just regular mp3 player I, that I like because it's got buttons and then I've actually added like Sugru to it so that the buttons are uh, like I can like operate this whole thing by touch when it's strapped on my head and like the earplugs are in and then you know just like yeah blocks the noise so sound and light isolation uh, I, it's hard to sleep without this I, I and I built whole sleep pods to, to sleep in before and this is sort of the travel version of that. And some various medical supplies. Uh, yeah, just to travel supplements um, like prescriptions, uh, melatonin. Um, I do a weird like um, sleep mask thing. Tylenol, Advil, etc. Nicotine patches um, for focus, etc. Things like this. Um, I usually cut them into smaller pieces and then I can use them for be a little more alert or awake or something. And then, uh, yeah, more prescription stuff. Um, modafinil. Uh, and then bandage supplies. And uh, more. This is a Zopaclone. Highly recommend for uh, sleeping better. If you uh, have trouble, especially traveling east, um, like a time, a few time, like eight time zones or something, uh, this will help you get to sleep. And a few extra just empty bags in case I um, am giving someone else some things or I don't know, for, for like other use.
Okay, medical bandage bag. So I've got scissors and other things in here, various types of uh, bandage. And this is probably one that gets used a lot just for making new bandages or like someone on our, our trip gets like uh, hurt. It's tiny scissors. I love these scissors. What are these? Titanium. I, uh, the, uh, the weight's worn off, but 9.5 grams. So these are great and uh, travelable. They also function as for like, you know, per personal grooming or something. Um, and uh, yeah, cutting bandages. Hydrocolloid. Yeah. And I'm keeping all the like the flat things in here. Some things have kind of gotten stuck together a little bit. Get rid of, um, yeah, extra just like white bandage. It's, it's stretchy. It's a bit permeable, like air permeable. Sometimes you want that. And then uh, hydrocolloid bandage for um, better, just like a, a, just a really, it keeps wounds moist. And, and I had a, a bad bike accident before where I uh, scraped the, my knuckles badly. And uh, so I got really into different types of bandages. These, uh, this just sort of like helps wounds heal faster. It keeps them moist. And then uh, you need to put something else over this because this won't stick on for very long. And so then you put either the white bandage or this other stuff. Uh, and I'll probably get links to those things. But the, uh, the, let's keep some stuff. <laughs> and then, um, yeah, clear bandage. This stuff is super thin and very stretchy and can and will stay on for weeks. Uh, and so it's it's kind of like, you know, make your own bandages. Uh, and then alcohol prep pads for just keeping um, nice and clean. Some of these some of these small pieces I can probably just like toss, but um yeah, uh, have I used these these are just uh like 3M stickers and stuff for, um, I don't know, leaving notes and things. I um, haven't actually used these very much. Maybe I don't need them. How much must they weigh? Five grams. I'm okay with that. Probably only need one because uh, I think I have some kind of tape. Yeah. Take this out. And then um, these guys. Oh, yeah. This is actually meant for, uh, for t like, weighing things. Uh, and if I can, like, leave it on, a th on something. So, I mean, how much does this weigh? 11 grams. Wow, it's actually, I probably don't need the whole sheet, but anyway, I'll probably cut that down. But um, yeah, this is for a gear bag. So this is super strong uh, gear tape. So like if your backpack gets a hole in it or something or something breaks, you can uh, reattach it or cover it up with, uh, with this and it'll keep it better. The, yeah, and this is super stretchy. This is like what the ultralight hiking people uh, swear by. And it works actually really well. And then just waterproof labels. That's what these both are. Uh, so let's just do a quick weighing for the screwdriver. 21 grams plus flathead plus Phillips. What about each, each of these bits is how much? 31, like five grams each, roughly. All right, tools I bring with me. Uh, 220 grams. Thermoplastic, I have yet to use this, so maybe I shouldn't be bringing it, but you know, it's not very heavy. Uh, it's the kind of thing you just throw in hot water and you can mold to any kind of shape. So, um, you know, if you need to make a hook or I don't know, some kind of a, what are the last time I used this for? More like house repairs usually, but you never know. Um, moldable glue for, um, I don't know, I'm making grippy things, so it's like a rubber kind of thing. You, you open it, it's supposed to air, then you uh, knead it into kind of a shape, and then it forms uh, like a rubber-like thing. Uh, and then Velcro, you can see I've actually used this Velcro for converting this flashlight into a like bike light or something that can like uh, be mounted on something. Um, yeah, and then this is a pretty bright flashlight. Uh, what is this titanium? I can't remember the uh, night eyes or something, but yeah, pretty lightweight, very bright. Um, let's see, like anyway, 
I don't want to shine in your eyes too much. Nice to have something like water. Uh, actually, this is not perfectly waterproof, but uh, definitely rainproof. Um, I like having great multi-tool. I, I used to have a multi-tool, but then you have to make sure that it doesn't have a blade because that won't go through security uh, in a, in a carry-on. Um, I like these. These are just a really great uh, mini pliers plus uh, wire cutters. Kind of heavy, um, you know. It's it's. Uh, I could probably take off the uh, rubber grips, but uh, it's just nice to have have that, especially if you really need to crank on something. Mm, yeah, and then Velcro for attaching stuff to other things. Um, I end up using this uh, a surprising amount, um, and it just like neatly folds away. It's light. I like could could just use a strap, but 20 grams. I, I don't know, it seems fine. And for 11 grams, like having fire available, right? This is, uh, you know, this is this is pretty good. Um, yep. Yeah. Well, can't believe they allow that on a plane, right? Uh, it seems like kind of arbitrary some of the things. Um, but yeah, and then little doodads and paper clips. Uh, you never know when you're gonna like uh, convert something. I can't remember what I used this for, but it was. Uh, uh, you can see I was like actually used a paper clip for some kind of tool. Um, yeah, this is for camera gear. It's light enough weight that I, I don't, I think I have yet to use it. But uh, yeah, and then screwdriver. Screwdriver is a thing that get, uh, has gotten taken away from you before. Um, for like, this, actually, yeah, the pliers I actually got taken. The only place that got, uh, I've been through a bunch of different countries. Mex Mexico is the one that actually took it out when I was traveling out of Mexico. Um, and, but uh, every, everywhere else, and then, uh, yeah, titanium five millimeter kind of screwdriver. It's sort of like pressure tensioned into this thing. This is PB Swiss tools. Uh, and then I've got like several bits for, uh, you know, like a, just a nice Phillips bit, number two, um, and then a nice um, flathead. And I, I can't remember exactly why I had this particular one, but uh, I think it was like useful at some point. And then a smaller, smaller bit for that. And then if you really need crank on it, you can swap it over to the other side. And then just as a backup, um, a titanium uh, screwdriver. This is almost, th this was just a, a keychain, um, And I think it's something that you could probably get through most types of security uh, if they take this other thing away, which was kind of annoying. And then, uh, yeah, bobby pin. That is it. Okay, let's check out the info bag. Uh, small electronics, wristwatches, things like that. This is actually kind of a heavy, it's just like an extra um, I, Apple or Apple Watch Ultra 2 or something. Uh, I was swapping these on and off, but I ended up just deciding to not do that. And so this is just kind of like an extra. Uh, also a spare, this one's very lightweight though, so. You know, it's, yeah, uh, just in case, uh, this one will last a week, so if everything else dies, I don't know, 100 pounds. Okay, and then what else we got in here? USB uh, drive, 20 or 128 gigabytes, uh, converter for micro SD cards. Uh, let's see, what is this? UB key for USB or USB-C, and then the other uh, duplicate UB key. I have another one as well, just for accounts and such. I um, don't know if I need this in here. Um, extra USB drive, I don't know how much is this way. Maybe I shouldn't have that, 10 grams. Should probably just stick with one of these. But I think for some reason this one worked at, well, on, on some old computer and the other ones didn't. Converter between USB-C to USB-B. So like pretty lightweight, seven grams. And then, um, yeah, like crypto wallet, uh, 20. Small uh, security SIM card key. Um, I have little baggies labeled full and empty for USB, or sorry, for uh, micro SD cards. Uh, so ones that are completely empty in here, ones that are full in here, and then I'll, when I get back from a trip, I'll, I'll like empty them. And then uh, I think I've already got one of these, so I just actually I don't need this 
probably get rid of it. Don't need extra stuff. All right. And that's it for the electronic stuff. I could probably drop this. It's like a, uh, I've been carrying it for a little while, mostly just um, in case this one this one doesn't work um, to have a backup. But it seems like it's been going fine, so I will probably drop that as well. So this will, this would actually be the the kit. Um, anything else to say about these things? Not really. Uh, again, I use the Ziploc bags because they're sort of cheap, lightweight, see-through, especially as then you can see all the contents really easily without having to open a bag up. Uh, just help keep, keep things organized. They look a little like kind of trashy, but um, there we go. So total weight, 80 grams for info bag. Cables bag, charger, travel charger for laptop and phone and multiple other devices. Uh, I need at least three ports, absolute minimum. Uh, thing a little folds out. Sometimes you don't need, I have like an extra cable for this though too, uh, just in case it's like hard to plug it into a wall or it's kind of jangly or something. Um, like a little bit of an extension cable. So right there. Uh, and then you can just kind of um, plug it in here. There we go. So just kind of to kind of extend it. Um, and then this also leaves, uh, makes it easy for the travel adapter, which 27 grams, 23 grams, so total of 50.5 grams plus this total is 269. All right, um, <clears throat> that's that one. Cable for computer, uh, 48 gram, uh, just 10 foot. USB cable. It's kind of hard to find ones this lightweight. Uh, and then I've got a kind of like Hydra cable. So Samsung watch, Apple watch, just a bunch of USB-C kind of uh, connections. This The Samsung one also doubles as a toothbrush charger for me. So uh, when I'm traveling with the, uh, with my toothbrush, uh, which I'll list, and micro USB for my sleep headset. And then sometimes you just want, like this is light enough weight that I have just have an extra, just in case. Five grams and and then for iPhone, just like a couple tiny things that are light enough weight that it's like nice to have an extra. Um, this is for a watch that I don't really use that much, but I have it as an emergency watch. And then a charger for the and controllers for Quest 3, and just like an extra, this is for the, the phone actually. Uh, and that's it, that's all that's in there. And then the bag, uh, this is a little bit getting a little ratty. Um, I actually made this bag, but not, um, I, I don't know if I'd recommend it, it's just like too time consuming, but with the uh, Dyneema fabric, how much does it weigh? 13 grams. Uh, you could just use a, a Ziploc bag fine too. Um, yeah. So that's it for the cable. Actually, let's just see how much everything weighs. Uh, throw it all in the bag. Four, five, four grams. All right, cool. 